Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Awesome Lindsay channel. We did this group shoot with a couple of photographers and uh, some models, and it was pretty busy that day, so I didn't have a whole lot of time to stop and explain the light setups. So I'm gonna do that throughout this video with voiceover. And I also wanna thank Shanna from Blush Boudoir Photography for letting us shoot in her studio. If you guys are in Utah and are looking for a boudoir photographer, she's amazing. I'll leave a link to her website in the description below. Uh, she does fantastic work, and she also has an amazing personality, and it makes shooting with her really, really fun. So for this shoot, I only brought two lights because I was packing light, <laughs> and I brought a 8400 Pro and an 8200 Pro. I'm using the 8400 Pro as a key light, and I actually forgot the modifier for this one, but for this look, I actually think it works well with hard light. And then I have the 8200 Pro as a side light with a red gel on it. All right, so the model you just saw is named Sophia. She wasn't able to stay all day, so I only got a handful of images with her. So I moved on to shooting with Nelsy in this room here. And this is just a one light setup. I have an AD200 Pro with a bare bulb on it and that's shooting through a Westcott Rapid Box and that only has the outer diffusion on it. That's the main key light. You'll see me moving it from right to left just to kind of check and see how things look. But overall, I liked the images where the light, the key light was on the camera right side because then I'm using the window as just a little bit of a fill coming across the model's right side. <music> So while I was in shooting with Nelzy, Nick, who hates being on camera. Nick, what camera are you shooting with? Um, R5. And how do you like it? A lot. I nice. like it a lot. Yeah. He was in shooting with Sophia before she had to leave, and they were doing this big Victoria's Secret Wings outfit, and he's just using a one light setup as well. He's got an AD400 Pro shooting through a 30 to 35 inch deep parabolic octabox. Okay, so we have Nick and Shanna and me would be right here shooting and we're doing um, just in the window, blown out background. Nick's light is up here, my light is up here. So it's basically just blown out background with a one single light. So here's a little update. We have our model here and then we also have these Edison lights in the background that are just kind of providing some ambiance. And then we have my light up here, which is lighting her with my camera. And then we have Nick, Nick's light over here. So I'm looking at the monitor, by the way, a lot because I need to see what I'm pointing at. But uh, then we have both of us. We have a bunch of us shooting, just kind of hanging out, having a good time. So one of the ideas we had was to shoot some fog through some dry ice and have it lay low on the ground and maybe have the model lay down on the ground. So what we did is we shot this look a little bit before and just had some fun. And then I'll show you really quickly how we built this uh, makeshift dry ice holder with my fog machine to get that low, that low laying fog. Okay, what we're gonna try and do is take these little containers, put dry ice in them, because you know with fog, if you run fog through dry ice, it stays low to the ground. So I'm gonna cut a hole in this side, and another hole in this side will shoot the fog machine through the dry ice and out to the ground. The smarter thing to have done would have been to have measured it because this is the output nozzle and it's a little bit lower. So you might just have to prop it up on something. So the light setup in here was mostly LED lights. I have an 8200 Pro set at a very low power. That's the main key light. And then Nick had his modeling light on his 8400 Pro. For me, that's not flashing. I'm just using the modeling light from the LED and that's giving some fill light coming from above kind of the front of her and then just surrounding her on her sides we have these colored led lights we have
have uh, my light is over here, which is mimicking kind of the window light coming through. And other than that, it's mostly just natural light. All right, you guys, this is the shoot. We've packed everything up. I want to thank Shanna for letting us use her amazing studio again. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments field. I'll do my best to answer them, and thanks everyone for watching.